This is Margie Fridgley's store. She's a small business owner who just signed up for credit card processing. How very modern. But she's just learned that every credit card transaction will cost her a processing fee. This means every credit card sale earns her less money than her cash sales. But the credit card processing company suggested a solution. Ms. Finchley can pass the processing fees on to her customers. By simply raising the price for each credit card purchase, it's like the credit card processing service is free. The new system raises the price of the sale above the tagged price, automatically applying a processing fee to each credit card sale. And now, Ms. Finchley is making the same money for each sale, no matter what form of payment the customer uses. It seems like a simple solution, but there's one problem. It's illegal. The New York General Business Law Section 518 prohibits this practice. But this law doesn't mean you can't charge different rates for cash purchases and credit card purchases. You still can. You just have to do it the right way. Businesses must always and clearly advertise the higher credit card price as a total of dollars and cents, or list both cash and credit card prices up front for all items. Businesses can choose to offer a discount for cash purchases, or simply decide to charge the same price for both cash and credit cards. We understand businesses want to list the lowest price, and Ms. Finchley thought she could just notify customers that prices reflect the automatic discount for cash. But that's illegal. Next, she thought she could simply add a convenience fee, or a service fee, or an administrative fee, or a non-cash adjustment, or a technology fee, or a processing fee, and so on. Even warning customers about the higher price for credit cards on every price tag is still illegal. So just remember to always list the highest price clearly, or list prices for both credit cards and cash. And businesses can make a profit while customers shop without confusion or frustration. There you go, Ms. Finchley. Good business to you and all of us.